Spider Woman has her revenge and it is crafty. She sends her eight legged cousin to do the nasty. Ticks are related to spiders. <clears throat> that tiny tick gives quite a kick. Damp places, tall grass, undergrowth, that tick thrives and strives to get you. Clings on clothes, creepily crawls here and there, and then attacks. So its tiny teeth dive into the skin, and a radical download then begins. Spirals ejected begin a journey of chaos to everywhere within. Those spirals whirl fast, exploring a vast inner world. <clears throat> it is a kiss from a cousin of Spider Woman, and it is given in revenge for destroying her world. The web of life is a delicate balance woven for eons of years, and crashing that balance is causing many, many fears. The water is toxic, and air is hard to breathe, and animals are going extinct, and they're wanting to leave. This is not balance. This is not the web of life. What you have created is constant strife. So with that tick bite, Spider Woman gives it all back. <clears throat> she throws that strife back at you and slowly watches you become unglued. Spider Woman has her revenge and it is crafty. She sends her eight-legged cousin to do the nasty. Thank you. Thank you. Winter dreams fade to gray. Early morning sunshine on another winter's day. Feel the warmth drift away. Memories that melt like winter dreams Winter dreams Blowing snow Drifts across the meadow Hiding what's below To emerge from long ago as images that haunt my winter dreams there's times I imagine it's still an endless summer thunderstorms and lightning bugs the same so long as we're together each day brings a different joy with no thoughts of november wake up to remember it was just a winter dream winter dreams feel so true now i wake to face another winter morning without you do the chores muddle through look forward to a night of winter dreams cause there's times I imagine it's still an endless summer Thunderstorms and lightning bugs the same So long as we're together Each day brings a different joy With no thoughts of November Wake up to remember It was just a winter dream Winter dreams fade to gray. Early morning sunshine on another winter's day. Feel the warmth drift away. 
memories that melt like winter dreams memories that melt like winter dreams I'm a grieving mother um, I lost my son 21 years ago in a car accident and um, his name was Frankie and uh, his birthday was December 8th um, he would have been 41 years old and um, you never get over it but it changes just things change and um, there's so many families out there that have lost children and loved ones but my heart goes out to everyone um, also um, if I could wish for him to come back, I would wish that. Um, so here's my poem. Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The stones lay beneath my feet, whispering, whispering, whispering to me as they tickle my tanned and wrinkled feet. Can you see us? They seem to be saying to me, as I look down, they look up to me. Their yellow, brown, and white eyes shimmer in the misty sunlight. Save us, please, from this misery. They talk of their madness in their journey to get here. We beg of you, please, hear us, touch us, love us, taste us. I gently lift one up and I've run my tongue on its jagged surface. I cry out, tasting the ground that lay beneath, crumbs of dirt and dust, steel, water, and earth that created them. I ask them, are you real or dead, like my son who is buried beneath my feet as I stand on the earth above his grave? He was real, I say. I know he was real. I remember him kicking inside of me. Um, and then there's one other thing I do want to sing. Because the woman first who wrote the books on the poems um, just inspired me. It's just a little quick song that came to me and the writing and journaling came to me after my son died. I wrote when I was younger, but it just came back to me afterwards. Um, but needing God in my life and not really knowing God, this I was driving along one day and the song just came to me, so. Please help me, Lord, show me the way. I don't even know how to pray. Put your loving arms around me. I'm so glad that you found me. Please help me, Lord. Please help me, Lord, take hold of my hand. I don't even know where I am. Please stay right beside me to lead me and guide me. Please help me, Lord. I locked the door of the inn I saw them approaching A traveler wearing the weight Of many a mile Riding the donkey beside him A woman great with child The man asked me, sir, can you give us a room? Her time is upon the child will come soon Oh, how could I tell them the rooms had been filled I led them up back to the stable in the chill What if I were in his place My wife and child in danger What if all I had were faith and the kind a stranger I woke
woke up my wife and I shared the news of this family. She hurried to gather some blankets and swaddling clothes. I feared that our help could do little to ease this family's woes. The night air was damp and I felt my despair as we reached the stable and family there. For oh, what will we do when this baby is born? My wife touched my arm and said, we will keep them warm. What if I were in his place, my wife and child in danger? What if all I had were faith and the kindness of a stranger? A cry in the dark, the baby proclaimed his place among the living, and I was blessed to be there. We left them in peace to rest for the night intending to bring them some food at first light but then in the morning the family was gone i'll think of that man and that night my whole life long what if i were in his place my wife and child in danger what if all i had were Thank you very much. I'm going to uh, recite a Christmas carol of sorts. It's called Frosty the Snowware Man. Frosty the Snowware Man walks the streets on Christmas Eve. Has no present, has no plan, has no ticket, he can't leave. Been around this block before, his forlorn feet begin to tire. Is yet to find an open door. No come right in, sit by the fire. All he owns is in a sack, a toothbrush and a change of clothes. Not too taxing on his back, but not the life he would have chose. He witnesses a deal going down between two hoods and Santa suits. Both end up sprawled upon the ground, victims of their vile pursuits. He steps right over a brown bag stash, puts on a jolly cap and beard, scoops a fistful of Christmas cash. No one saw, no one cheered. He feels a power he's never known. He might just buy himself a sleigh and fly off into that blue moon zone where black and white heartaches fade to gray. Can't help crooning that reindeer song the Beach Boys ballyhooed back in the day. Yet deep down knowing it won't be long before he's giving it all away. Yo, have a hundred, my damn man. Buy your wife a winter coat. Two big ones for you, deadbeat Dan. Bring your kids a ray of hope. Slips a hooker on the corner, an excuse to go home early. Join some winos in a diner. Treats them all like they were family. Off he goes to midnight mass. In stained glass spirits, we do believe. Plunks a C-note in the purse, left by ladies gone to receive. Bellows along to First Noel, releasing all internal locks. 
Bids the choir a fond farewell. Drops his last bill in the box. Feeling he's holding a winning hand. With his inner voice acing what is right. Frosty the snowware man sleeps in heavenly peace tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much. My town is small Like so many others Come down and visit My sisters and my brothers The houses are still now People mostly gone Factories are boarded up Closing one by one Times have changed Where are the people? The, the plants and the mills The tanneries and the forge Quiet assembly lines Jobs relocated far offshore The townspeople and the workers The artisans are staying home They're lining up on Monday All are on the dole Times have changed where are the people? Just to save a penny Just to save a buck Wasting all that pride and skill The country is unstuck What was once a proud land has been driven to its knees Think they're saving money The economy is diseased Times have changed Where are the people? You go up to the city Drive up to the town People driving fancy cars No one wears a frown Everything is new I bet the bills are never overdue Everything they hold Seems to be pure gold Times have changed where are the people? They're standing on the corners They're waiting at the lights Palms outstretched and yearning Dreading long and freezing nights Barely holding on to their dignity Old times that once were good They need a little money They need food Times have changed Where are the people? Factories are closed Riding down the road Taking any job to ease their load Times have changed Where are the people? 
times have changed Where are the people Thank you. We are living in the space between what was and what will be. Never has this space mattered more. In this space, there is great opportunity and great peril. Never have those of us living on Earth at the same time had more responsibility for the future. In this space, the future of many species will be decided. Will they survive or become extinct? In this space, the quality of life for future generations will be determined. Will they have access to clean water, clean air, food, freedom from cholera, typhoid, and other illnesses that spread due to lack of sanitation? Will the children of the future be afflicted with high rates of cancer, developmental disabilities, and overall poor health because of the chemicals that are in the soil? the water, and the air. What about those of us living now in this space between? Will we be the ones to see the earth plundered beyond repair for the sake of profit and greed? Will we witness the degradation of the world's most beautiful places? Will we be the last humans to ever see a whale, an elephant, an orangutan, a hummingbird. Will we grow ever more polarized and isolated because we cannot see that we are all connected to each other, to those who came before us, and to those who will come after us? Will we fail to see that we are part of the web of life, all life on Earth, and that our connection to this is really our only hope for survival? Will we understand when we talk about climate change that the Earth will survive, but we may not? The Earth will not stop being a planet. It won't disappear. Life on Earth will continue, but not as we know it. As we worry about species becoming extinct, will we recognize that we are one of the most endangered species, that we are literally killing ourselves by the way we live? Will we finally recognize that if we do not stop the rise of the global temperature, eventually human life on Earth will be impossible? And do we care? Really care enough to change how we live and what we value? This is the most important question of our time. The answer will determine how future generations live and eventually if they live at all. We hold in our hands, literally, the future of the human race. This is what it means to live at this moment in history. We have, each of us, been chosen by God or the universe to bear this awesome responsibility. We must not let hopelessness or naysayers overwhelm us. Instead, embrace this moment, this privilege with optimism and energy. We can slow the pace of climate change. The solutions already exist. Our task is to make sure these solutions are embraced at every level, from our own household to the highest levels of government. So let us be worthy of our special place in history so that someday historians will say of us, they held the fate of humanity in their hands, and united in hope, they came together to protect the life of future generations. Thank you. We actually know the melody. Feel free to um, vocalize it. I, last week I did a concert and The entire room broke out into uh, the melody. It was uh, ethereal. 